of it. And thanks for sticking around. Not going anywhere. Um, you know, uh, I'm sort of stumbling a little bit my way through tonight with your um, great love and grace and forgiveness and all of those wonderful things that hopefully you will extend to me um, because I have been sort of uh, taking a little bit of a break uh, hiatus and um, coming back was has been a little bit of a fearful thing. Um, I'm sure probably most of you know, but um, great, great, uh, I guess what the world would call and certainly what our hearts would call tragedy uh, struck our family a um, month and a half ago now, um, and May 21st, and uh, lost our five-year-old little girl, Maria. Um, we lost her to our arms and our presence here on earth, but um, we are so, so sure that she is fully and completely alive, um, just not here with us, but to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord, and so we know and believe that Maria is with Jesus, and so, uh, and I hope tonight as I say these things, you know, that these will not sound like you know, spiritual band-aids or anything like that because, boy, words have become so much, um, it's been an interesting journey, you know, words mean less to me now in ways and more to me in other ways than ever before, and truth of Scripture has become so precious and so, um, well, it's, it's been, um, it's been the air that we have breathed. Uh, it's been a thing that has kept us breathing, even when we didn't want to, uh, in certain moments, and, and still those waves that hit and come. But tonight, you know, some of these songs I sing in faith. You know, I was kind of working through the process of how do I go about doing this? Will I ever do this again? Is it ever right to get up and do this? Um, and obviously I came to the conclusion that I, I certainly have to if it... If it was ever true when I stood before you and sang any of these songs, then it's got to be true now. Um, if we only have hope for this life, we are to be pitied, Scripture says. Our hope is built on so much more than just what we have in this earthly life. And so these truths have to be true now if they ever were. But some of the songs that I thought through, you know, how will I say that and sing that without it seeming either flippant or seeming... Um, somehow inappropriate and I don't want my friends to be uncomfortable and I certainly don't want to be uncomfortable with it and but I also don't want to just stand up there and, and you know sing um, just songs that maybe are very heavy and and all of that um, and so I realized that you know uh, the scripture I, I think I wrote it down because I knew I wouldn't remember any of these but this is a great scripture in Psalm 126. It says, Those who sow in tears will reap with songs of joy. And he who goes out weeping, carrying seed to sow, will return with songs of joy, carrying sheaves with him. You know, when we sow the tears, and all of us have, and I pray that, that uh, you haven't sown the kind of tears that we have, but I bet with a group this large, some of you have. Um, experience great, great loss and great pain. All of us have at some level. And so tonight, you know, our songs of weeping, our songs of joy, our songs of, uh, of hope and songs of celebration, you know, they're all rooted to one thing. They're all anchored to one thing. The hope that we have that even when we sow seeds of weeping and tears, that God has promised as we read earlier, that He will give us beauty for ashes. And even out of those, out of that brokenness, that He will bring something that will honor Him and glorify Him and will be beautiful. And maybe tonight you're carrying some of, that, some of those ashes around. Maybe you're 
your life is feeling like it's it's that pile of ashes. And so tonight we uh, we come to just encourage you out of our own brokenness. And because uh, these guys have walked through this with me, the guys up here on stage, and so we're all standing here with really with uh, broken hearts, kind of shattered hearts, but God having put us back together in a lot of big cracks. We were already pretty cracked up and broken up before. The Chapman family certainly was, but now our prayer is just through all those cracks and all those big kind of gaping holes in our hearts and our lives that God would, as he fills us up with hope and with his truth, that it'll, it'll spill out and it'll flood over and into your hearts, maybe even here tonight. That's our prayer and our hope. And uh, so, anyway, I should probably talk to us now for a moment, and I shall sing again. Um, a song that, man, every one of these songs, it's like, you know, after something like, you know, what we walk through, it's just like every song becomes a whole new song, and I'm going, you know, wow, I didn't, I never intended it to be that, quite that true, you know, that that deep for me, um, and yet, you know, I, I sing all these kind of with a new, I guess, passion, a new awareness of just, uh, of, of some of what I'm saying um, now, so anyway, this is, uh, this is a song that some of you may know, it's the title song from my latest album, and uh, Miracle of the Moment. It's time to let go All about is lonely 